Hello, welcome to the new travel blog, Budget and Blessings. And my first travel vlog that I'll be doing is from Atlanta to Las Vegas for my vacation. Now, Budget and Blessings is a travel vlog where I show you how I um, plan my vacation or plan my travels with the most on the budget or my current budget of stay. So I do want you to recognize that budget doesn't mean that you're broke and that you have you're looking that 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 you're looking for the cheapest price, but it is setting a budget of what you're willing to spend on your vacation and staying within it as best as possible. This allows you, this travel vlog is gonna teach you that no matter what budget you're on, just set a budget and, and, and work around it. It helps you to enjoy your vacation, you know, because you already kind of planned it out. Okay, the blessings part is some things you're gonna get that are just blessings. You can get free upgrades just because God is just on your side that day. Or um, maybe you get uh, um, a better room than you expected to get than what you paid for. Or whatever the blessing is. Someone could give you, buy your drinks for the night. Or you find a really good deal that you didn't expect to get. Um, that's the blessing part of budget and blessings. So let's get into my Vegas trip. Now, first of all, when you are doing a budget or planning a vacation or a trip, first of all, find out where you're going to lodge, where are you going to stay? Because plane tickets, the getting a plane somewhere out, or transportation outside of you driving yourself is going to be based on how quickly or soon you can get those tickets. Real talk. If you can buy your tickets for a vacation a year in advance, it's going to be less expensive than you paying for it a month prior or the same day. Okay? So, but the lodging is going to make all the difference on what's going on that weekend and so on and so forth. That is also determined on when, how soon are you paying for this? Are you doing a last minute lodging situation? It's going to be more expensive because we have people that's already playing. So the first thing I did, because I am a Vegas vet, I've been to Vegas at least three times prior to this trip. I been to the strip so i know what I, there's certain places i know i ain't gonna go like circus circus or the travel lodge or the motel six that's on the strip and it's also a, a casino but i'm not gonna go there or i'm not gonna go to oyo um hotel and casino i'm not gonna go to the luxor because i've already you know what i'm saying i kind of know a little bit about the vegas strip and where is a reasonable place to stay. Okay, so because I've already stayed in Treasure Island, Mandalay Bay, and I stayed at Cosmopolitan, I already know what they can offer. They, my, Treasure Island is one of my favorite, most reasonable places to stay. You can find really great um, trips I mean, uh, uh, deals on the Treasure Island website. But I didn't want to stay somewhere I've already stayed before. Same thing with Mandalay Bay and Cosmopolitan. Well, I was kind of balling a little bit then when I stayed at Cosmopolitan. I just wanted a five-star hotel. And it was everything because it was new in 2012. Okay. So the first thing I did is I went to Experian where I already have uh, Expedia where I already have a um, 
I already have an account with them. They've always had a really good, um, They already have a good uh, reputation with me. I have actually gotten um, hotels through Expedia in the past, but I don't recommend you getting hotel rooms through a third party because usually if they're, uh, oh, they promise you a discounted rate of what everybody else is have, they usually are not giving you the best room. So I usually go on third party sites just to find hotels and their general pricing. Most hotels, FYI, will, if you say, well, I saw it on Expedia for $50 a night, they will honor the Expedia site. Just have to ask. So I looked on Expedia and I compared hotel prices for the time that I wanted to go. And I landed on the Paris. On Expedia, it will show you not only what the room rates are per night, but they will also tell you the resort fees and the deposit. You just got to really study the website. I like Expedia because they that's what they did. They showed me what it is. And then I had a slight discount if I chose to go through Expedia of $13 because I had a credit for having booking hotels through them prior and flights. So I went there. I checked different spots. Notation. I do want to note that newer hotels like there's a new hotel and resort called resort world um new hotel and casino called resort world um on the las vegas strip is brand spanking new and they open late last year if i recall or early this year they open so newer res new hotels tend to have higher resort fees and deposit fees per night and I wanted to stay in Resort World, but Resort World, Lord Jesus, it was 150 per night for resort fees and deposit. The regular fees to stay, because I have, they have a side that's Hilton and a side that's something else I can't remember. But I have resort, I have the Hilton Rewards um, website, so I could get rewards for it, but. The pricing for the resort fees of 150 a night was too much, but I thought about it for a second. I said, if I saved up and I don't have lunch for the rest of the week, I could do this. But I landed on Paris because they had 50, it was like 50 and some change, 52 and some change per night for the room, $50 per night for the resort fees and $50 per night for the deposit, which would be returned back to me. $150 would be returned back to me at the end of the day, being that I don't leave the room in shambles and they don't have to take any money out. So I landed on that. The total fee that I paid for it was $283, which I'm still waiting to come out of my account. Okay. So that's how I did that, did that. Then I went to a new app that you can get on your phone called Hopper, like H-O-P-P-E-R, Hopper. It has a bunny rabbit as one of them. I checked on there for flights. I paid for my flight to Vegas, like in the middle of July. On the 15th of July, I paid for my flight to Vegas. And on the 1st of August, I paid for my flight back from Vegas. Okay. Um, the flight there was Delta. And 
the flight back was a connecting flight to America. This is the first time I've ever tried that, so we will see how that goes. So, I went there and I found flights. Tip, when you use this Hopper app, you, you cannot come in one way and then change the flight that you want to come back. If you want to do a, if you do a round trip, you're going, whatever airline that you travel there on, you got to travel back on. So that's the reason why I did not do round trip with Hopper because I want to see if there was, I, I was willing to try another airline from Vegas, but Delta going there from Atlanta, Delta, that flight will be, in my experience, have always been luxurious, even in, even in economy, which I will be traveling this time. So I found the flight and I booked through Hopper. The only reason I chose Hopper is because I had a $30 credit where 15 of it went towards my, when I booked my flight. I would have went through experience Expedia for my flight. Now that I suggest going through a third party like Expedia, Priceline, those type of places for your flights. If you're of a certain age and you are you want particulars, you know. Now, if you're young, go through the third party because you might be okay with maybe not being on the bottom floor, but you in Vegas. If it's, you know what I'm saying? But if you've been there and you're a vet, you want to go. Once I found Paris on Expedia, I went to the Paris website, which is a Caesars property. And I booked directly through the website because the prices was the same. And sometimes you get better deals on their website. If you join their rewards plan, you get a better offer because you go through there so my tip number one when planning when you're booking your hotel book directly through the website of that hotel that you want to stay do not do it through a third party i don't care how cheap because the reason why they're getting it cheap is they're giving you a room that nobody wants to stay in it's never good <clears throat> Number one, I have not gotten good experiences of staying in a hotel through them that wasn't in the local area. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I've learned to book directly through either if you are part of their rewards plan and you have their app, book that way. I do that. I'm a Hilton Rewards person. If I go any other city outside of Vegas, I'm looking for a Hilton product because you get rewards and then that builds up. There it is. The prices are the same as they are on Expedia or um, Priceline. They're the same at the hotel. I promise you most of it is about the same. And if you ask, if you call and you book, they will respect the pricing of what you saw on Priceline. Because the main thing is they just want people to stay in their hotel. Okay. So I booked directly through Caesar and became a Caesar uh, rewards member. If I go to another Caesar somewhere else, child, yes, I will take those points. But because I love Vegas so much, hell, I might go back in November. I ain't even playing. Don't let me have a little bit of extra money. I will go back in November. Why? Why would you go back to Vegas? Because it's my happy place. I enjoy Vegas. Not necessarily for the gambling. Just it's just it's Vegas. All you got flashing lights. You got something to do all the time. All the time. There's something to do that I like to do. Even though I don't always do all those things, it is something to do. Eh. 
Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing, I went to that same website, Expedia, and looked for flights. And I compared them to Hopper. Hopper had a better deal because I had a credit because I joined. So I used that and that that little that little 15, half of that 30. You know what I'm saying? To that help pay for it. So that was a blessing. Because I learned about Hopper at the last minute. I was watching something. They were talking about Hopper. I said, let me try Hopper. And I ain't never heard of this. So, yes. And right now, I have like almost a hundred and something dollars in discounts that I could use. That I may use later on this year. I might go to South Carolina. Because they got slots there. And I do like playing slots. I do. So, um that part so then i went there to find flights and i compared them to hopper hopper had the better deal not it was cheaper but i had that credit with hopper i didn't have with expedia so i went with hopper and so i booked my flight one one way there and then another way through hopper because i had that i had the other credit now i have way more credit because I've used them. So um, I will put the website information in the description. So if you choose to use Hopper, you can use it or Expedia also. Another website that I suggest when you're planning your vacation or your travel is also tra um, TripAdvisor, which I like to read the reviews as well. Because it may be a three star, but if you read the reviews and you'll find out, oh, they only have three stars because they had long lines at the registration. But the rooms are great. And the people were pleasant. They're, the reason why I didn't do New York, New York is I read the reviews on TripAdvisor and Expedia and they literally had... There's the, the, the reason why some people gave them a low score is because their rooms were old or they smelled or um, they found bugs in the room or whatever. You know, and it's like, well, I don't want that. So, but I suggest also read the reviews of the place that you, you want to go. Pick three and then read the reviews of each. And whichever goes along with the budget that you're willing to spend for your trip, choose that one. And then I would suggest you pray because I pray that I have the best room in the building for what I pay for. And I feel like I got it. So, um, in the name of Jesus. So. We've got that. I've shown you how I found my room or where I'm going to stay. I use the same site and I end up using Hopper for the best one. The other thing with Hopper is that you can also pay a fee to keep the same price and get on that same flight. So if you see a flight for 200 going to Vegas today but you don't get paid for another week or you won't have the funds for another week however it works I don't know your life you can hold it at 200 and pay at a later date for that 200 and still get that flight. So that is mad cool. The thing I like about Expedia is the flight, if you do a round trip, you don't have to do the exact same type of airline. Okay. So it may be cheaper for you to come back American. If you fly there on Delta, but it's cheaper for you to come back on American or United or Southwest to your back home. You can choose that. So 
you know, make your choice on how you do it. I chose to use Hopper because I already had credits. Okay, so just know whatever flight that you fly. If you're doing round trip, if Delta, they're only going to give you Delta on the way back. If you go Expedia, you can go Delta there and go American back. It's your choice. So that's the cool part. So now that you know how I chose where I'm going to lodge and how I'm going to get there, the first videos that I'm going to show after this one is how I pack for my vacation. So wait for that. And that's coming right now. Okay. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to Budget and Blessings. The next videos will be packing videos. How do you pack a carry-on and that extra purse? Mm -mm. How you doing? All right. You're only going for three days. You don't need your whole closet. I will see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in to Budget and Blessings. Good day. How are you all doing? Welcome to the According to Akara channel and podcast. So, this is a special vlog that, I mean, or vlog that I'll be doing today. Um, this is going to show you how I'm going to be packing for my travels in a week. So, and this is all going to be a part of the Budget and Blessings travel vlog that I'll be posting on my next travel. I'll be traveling shortly and um, I'm going to be vlogging it. So this is a new vlog that I will do on occasion when I travel long distances that is. So first let's start with know what if you're flying out know what you want to pack. Now, it's called, the name of this travel vlog is Budget and Blessings. So that means we're doing stuff on a budget. We're not spending money just to spend money because we got money. Okay. So, one of the ways that I save when I fly is I, uh, first of all, fly a, a replicable airline like Delta. I am a bit of a Delta snob, but I am not a I'm not opposed to American or Southwest or um, let me think maybe JetBlue, but I haven't been on that. I do not. You it looks cheap, but you get what you pay for, and then they nickel and dime you, and that would be Spirit and Frontier and the likes of those types of flights. It, it, you, your customer service is usually not as well, not as good as the replicable ones. Okay, so first of all, usually on a replicable um, airline like Delta, um, American, you will, they will have a free carry-on, which is usually a bag like so, maybe a roll on it's maybe 14 inches high nine inches wide now this bag that i have here it has a double zipper on the side so that it this this pooch can kind of give you a little too much to it but i like it and it's cute but it usually suffices as a carrier okay because it is nine inches wide on the side 14 inches high um, and I forgot what the width, I think it's not, uh, I can't remember what it was, it's 12 height, width, and it was something, the back should be, yeah, it's, it's something like that, child. I don't know, I don't know, I think it's like 10 across. So, I usually do this, and it usually allows you to have one, like, extra, like a big, purse I mean or have a, a extra you have a carry-on and an extra bag I try to take my biggest purse I know this 
coach purse has been with me everywhere and it's white and it's dingy don't judge me okay i will be washing her before i leave to make it bright so i don't be looking all dingy you know what i'm saying so what i do is i usually take a big bag like this a big carry-on bag that way i can take personables like my computer so what i have done today is first of all let's make sure my handy dandy computer goes with me because this isn't just a vacation this is also a working vacation so i want to make sure this can fit in here comfortably so i put it in check that goes in here what also will go in here is the charging cord for this computer as well as um like my wallet like it so and that's about it maybe some lip gloss or some chapstick and some maybe hand lotion a small bottle of hand lotion may go into this bag just for good measure hello so um maybe even my earbuds my earbuds will be in here as well um i do need to get me some plug-in ones so that if I can, my ear, you know, certain earbuds don't work well, I can get them, which I do think I have because I, I, I used to work at Dollar Tree, so I have some earbuds, should have some earbuds that I can get in my supply that I've had here. So we're gonna, so that is this. I just took that out to make sure it can fit in there, um, but that's not the main subject. So. One of the tips I've always learned how to do is to roll my clothes. That way most of my stuff can fit into this smaller baggage comfortably and compactly. This is how you will get as much stuff in a small space. Okay, so now I have this shirt. FYI, I went to Rainbow. Don't ever be afraid to go to them little cheap stores, okay? You know, when you got it, go ahead and do it. If not, I mean, even if you do, if you do have it, I mean, they got cute stuff at Rainbow. So I've got this long shirt. I thought it was a dress, but it, I mean, like if I was smaller and shorter, yeah, it could be a dress, but this is not a dress. Okay, wear some shorts on it, which I do plan on. This is really cute. I got this for $10 at Rainbow. So I'm going to roll it, print inward, because we don't want, if something spills in there, which I doubt, because I always put all of my toiletries in a Ziploc bag, okay? Now, I may come at you a little later with how I pack my toiletries in it, because I'm still using my toiletries. And what I'm going, I'm going to put what I'm not going to use already into like travel containers. Okay, so what I like to do is roll my clothes and I like to roll the outfits together. So I have this long shirt with these cut off shorts that I'm taking on vacation. So I'll put it like this and I'll roll the clothes. Roll them up. Just roll it like this and stack it in my bag. There it is, nice and neat. I'll show you afterwards once I have successfully packed the bags how the roll cult clothes do. So we're gonna go on to the next one. This is the other one I got for $10 as well at Rainbow. Boom, I'm not lucky, I'm blessed fold it, print inside, especially it being a new one. Put the shorts right here and roll them up. Roll it up, roll it up. And I do this for all my clothes. So I, I put the sets together that I'll be wearing. I intend on wearing together. So there that goes in the bag. Now, I this is what I'm going to wear out so I don't need to really have this in the bag. This will be set aside for me to wear on the way to my vacation, okay? 
when I go to the airport. So, um, oh, I got this cute, this Caillou dress, okay? I realize I have a belly. I have a picture I might post here of the best one, but my, oh, I got a little belly, but you know what? You're going to get all these rolls. Y'all better bring butter because I'm going to bring the rolls to the vacation. So we just kind of fold this up neatly to on the side and get to rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. There we go. So we're going to put that in there because that's the outfit in and of itself. Um, I have workout clothes. I ain't going to nobody's gym. But you know, it's always good to bring them just in case. You know, you might run into some, you might have a nice day, you might have some time. You know, one of the reasons I don't really go to the gym is because I don't have the time. But I always take gym clothes with me on trips. Because you never know. And it's a spare outfit. Hello. Mm -hmm. So we're going to roll that up too. Roll it up. Roll it up. Roll it up, eh, eh, roll it up and put that in the back, in the back, we put it in the back, in the back, uh, uh, uh. okay, anyway, <laughs> so, um, swimsuits, underwear, do not get rolled, well, actually, my swim prop, my swimsuit should. This is my top, my tankini top um, that I'm going to go ahead and pack. Usually I put the, the tankini in on the, I mean my, um, in with my um, underwear on the side pocket of my suitcase. Here's the cute little fake skirt sport type of uh, situation going on here. Well, we're going to put these together and I'm going to roll these too. Hello? Because I, I have plenty of space because I only right now I have four outfits. One is a gym outfit that can double as just a walking around wear. Putting this in the bag. In the bag, in the bag. Now this is it's a short, short um three day weekend or three night week that I'm going on vacation. Just something short. Fly me out of here real quick. These are some spandex shorts, which is also I'm gonna use it as a double in case those little short shorts is just not enough if I just need my belly covered. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I bring these, but these are just a just in case. Um, and I have my little tube top to go with it. You know, I'm going where it's hot. You know, where, you know, I don't think I'll be going to an all black party. I don't plan on going to any parties because I ain't got no cute cute. Okay, hello? This is where most of my stuff is gonna be athletic wear where I'm going and you will find out where I'm going on my um, budget and blessing blog okay all right so now I have underwear is a bra a couple of pairs of underwear I'm going to be adding to that because I still have to wash clothes and I put it in the handy dandy side pocket here socks goes in the side pocket, the mesh side pocket there. Um, then I usually, when I go on vacation, I do not step in nobody's shower. I don't care what business it is. What hotel, whether I'm staying in the Airbnb, a fancy hotel, a cheap hotel. These go with me. I don't go into nobody's shower with my bare feet anymore. Okay, that's called growing up. So I put these in the bag, in the main area of my bag. And then I got, these are gonna be what I'm going to wear 
um, to the airport, my little flip flops to go with my white and blue. But this is when I'm walking through the airport, okay? I will have on sneakers getting to the airport because the way I'm gonna go is I'm taking public transportation and nobody wanna be walking and flip flopping around in these all day. So we need to get that walk on, I need that speed, but when I get, before I get into that TSA line, guess what I'm gonna change my shoes into? These. Okay, easy to come put on and easy to take off. And then once I get to my destination, I will change it to my sneakers again, booyah. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the bag, in the side pocket, the outside side pocket, so it'll be easy for me to get to when I'm ready to go, okay? I'll be able to get to these shoes, I'll be able to get to these shoes easily to change them out. Last, I'm putting these red sneakers to go with the red shirt outfit and any other um, sneakers. And then I have my yellow ones. <laughs> I'm putting these in here on the side. Okay. I also intend on taking my own towel, my own two, I got two sets of towels that I'm putting in there, um, in my bag, and my own wash towel. The wash towel will go in the side pocket with my underwear. So let's see where I am here. This is the side pocket I'm talking about here. I will put this in here with that. Okay, in that little mesh pocket there. I just noticed that that's torn, but you know, I don't care about that. That doesn't make any difference. As you can, if I lean this down, you can see how I've packed my bag here. The roll clothes are underneath these set of shoes. I've rolled all my clothes. Now, I rolled all my clothes underneath here is the other two, the flip flops that I use to shower. In the shower, we're gonna put these back here. Okay, you see how that is? Boom. And these towels, ugh, I just realized I don't like I don't want my towels on. Oh. Okay. And I'm gonna just put the towels right here on top. And then I'm going to connect the straps. Now most people don't need, I, when I was younger, I never used these little, the straps, I never understood the purpose of them, but it helps really compact your bag because when I tie it and I tighten it up, there's some space right here, and I'm gonna show you once I tighten this up, that if I want to put something extra real quick in the corner right here, I could put that there. You see what I'm saying? So we closed it up. Um, we're gonna close that. And I'm almost completely packed for my vacation. This is where I put the flip flop. And that's how you pack. And the cool part too about it is, um, I really, the only reason I have those shoes those shoes take up a lot of space, but it really doesn't because I did not have to tie them up with the tie because it would have had plenty of space over that side as you saw. So that is how I pack. That, that's it. So I am almost completely ready. All I need to do is add my toiletries, which is probably going to go in that corner. Okay? 
So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you back for the other part of this vlog. Good afternoon, how are you doing? This is another segment of my travel blog called Budget and Blessings, where I will show you how to travel on a budget and see the experiences of the blessed. So, I know I've already showed, I have a previous piece where I showed you how I packed for my bag for my to-go bag, my carry-on bag. As you can see here, I have my towels, everything buckled up inside my bag. See, my shoes are underneath here. There's a nice little space right here where I'm gonna be putting my toiletries. So, what I like to do with my toiletries I like to put them in a Ziploc bag unless, you know, unless one of them crack open or whatever, it's at least inside the bag and doesn't spill all over my clothes. So in my travel, my toiletry bag is definitely a brand new toothbrush. You can get them from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 now. Um, hand sanitizers that I happen to have on deck from the shutdowns. Well, actually, prior to the shutdowns, I was selling them at a, at a house in the park event. Travel size toothpaste, Colgate here. I have my Bath and Body Works body spray. I have gotten travel containers. This is uh, my shower gel. And then my oil, body oil that I put on my body after I take a shower. Um, I have a travel size degree that I put in here as well as uh, a body cream, the body cream. This I got at the Dollar Tree as well um, before they went up. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So let me, let me straighten this up so that it's easy to fit. I wanted to make sure I get all the air out of the bag because it was puffing up, so I'm sticking that in there. And then I'm gonna zip lock it closed there. So it goes perfectly in that spot that was open. I also am taking flushable wipes, okay, and Lysol wipes. These are gonna go right here, just on in that slight section of my carry-on bag right here oops you see where I have them right here oh there <laughs> so <laughs> having a time I'm actually using my selfie stick that transforms to a tripod for for this one so I'm, I'm putting used to it okay the next one is me packing my white coat purse with my um, computer and some other side things like uh, charging cords and stuff like that. So that's it for that one. So right now as it stands, my carry-on is indeed packed for the trip and ready to go. Okay. There we go. Thank you for your viewship, and I will see you on the next segment. Hey, welcome back to Budget and Blessings Travel Vlog. Now, today I'm going to show you how I pack my big bag that I carry on as a purse, okay? But it is gonna also double as a computer holder as well. Watch me work, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna bring it down a little lower so you can see. So, I got a gift from uh, my company. This is a, it could be a document holder or a computer holder. 
I'm gonna use it as a computer holder. So here we go. So I'm gonna put this in here just to pack my computer. Okay. So we're gonna put this in here like so. Nicely handy in a little bag. And then I'm gonna put it in my bag. I, I'm gonna have to put I had to put it in sideways, but it'll work, it'll fit. I've already tried it. Okay. There we go. So that's in here, like so. Can you see in there? It's in there. Now it's gonna be quite difficult to try to take that out later, but what I will be doing is, cause I have to remember, I'm gonna have to take this out and take it out of the bag and then put it back in the bag once I go through TSA. So that might pose a bit of an inconvenience, but if I get there four hours ahead of time, get through TSA, I'll have the time to do all that. Now, I have some extra toiletries that I made these up will go into my bag because you know ladies my period loves to show up and go on vacation with me so I'm gonna be ready for her that is going to be put to the side for it um, to be put into my carry-on bag okay so there's going to be a few other things that I'm going to put in my bag, like the charger. I like to keep all of my electronics type of things in a plastic bag. So that will go in here along with my charger box for my um, phone, my charging cord. And then I also have another USB cord to charge other things like my earbuds, my wireless earbuds will go in here as well. Uh, I don't think I will need those right away. So that will go into this bag. I have allergy medications. I'm not sure if you notice that in case I run into something that gives me an allergic reaction, I at least have something. And then in here I have my blood pressure pills and of course a few ibuprofen pills in here as well because this is an ibuprofen. I like to keep that and I'm gonna put this in my side pocket. As well as with that, earring boo. Yes, I got an earrings for different ones. That too will go into my side pocket. Um, I'm just realizing there's some things I'm going to put in my carry-on. I got me a little cheap little fan that I can have once I arrive there or on the way. Um, you can take that out of the package. That way it is not going to be cumbersome to me. That might be something I carry around my neck because it has a little tether here that I can carry around my neck or tie around something, you know what I'm saying? Um, I probably won't put it around my neck. So. so yes, it's a cute little fan and batteries to go in the fan and it looks like it takes double A batteries. There's a couple, a couple of things that I had to put in the bag, but then I realized just how cumbersome I would have, what I would have to do to get my computer out of the bag. So yeah, I think these are double A batteries. I would keep these in there ready to, ooh, no you didn't. There we go. Ooh, little diva fan. 
So batteries in that. But I will take them out because I foresee if I have it in there and something's leaning, then it's just drain my batteries for no damn reason at all. Hello. So batteries for this will be put to the side and in my electronic bag. Okay. So we keep all this in one place, child. Okay. I am going to remove this package. Also, what I have in here, I don't know if you can see it at the bottom of my bag. I have um, the Samsung that doesn't come with the earplug. I had to get an adapter. That's in here as well. So I got me some plug-in earbuds just in case I find myself and they have movies. I can watch and I have my own earbuds. Guess where these are going? In my electronics bag. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, there that goes in there. Good, get all that air out of there. So, let's start a packing. So, also, oh, I forgot to say, I also have my mask, some extra mask. This is just going to the airport type of situation. There is a side pocket I have in here. It's fairly, it's pretty big. So I'm gonna put my mask in here, into the side pocket, along with my medications, my feminine products, and my earrings. They are tucked perfectly right there in there. Okay. I have shades that I'm taking with me. They will go in just into the center bag, central bag area, or maybe in one of these upper side pockets here. Mm-hmm. Then my electronic bag goes inside. There, there you have oh. Hand sanitizer, can't forget my hand sanitizer. That will go into, I have just a little open pocket here. I'm trying to show you all. In this bag, there's an open little pocket here. I put that, uh, let me see. You see that pocket? Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna take this out because I remember I also have gum. One of the most important, most inexpensive thing that you'll need on a flight. Because you get up in the air and your ears start popping and you kind of swallow and pop it. But nothing helps pop your ears like gum. So that will go in that side, the other side pocket. Boom, boom. And we're done. Outside of putting my phone in here and my selfie stick, we're all ready to go. We're all ready to go. All ready to go. Oh, I'm going to throw some pajamas in my bag because I forgot that I don't have nothing to sleep in. I mean, I usually sleep in the buff, but you know, you never know with the alarms and stuff that goes off. I don't want to be like, oh, I have to find something to wear. What do I put on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so I will carry one, something, some shorts and a shirt, nothing fancy, um, to prepare myself. Another blessing is I've got a tracker that I'm going to put on my um, roller bag. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that on my roller bag later before... I leave so that I have something tracking my bags. Hello. I usually don't have a problem with Delta and I haven't had a problem with um, with them. I mean, you know, if, if the spirit leads for me to add that onto my bag, I will. It's always good to have a tracker so you at least know where it is. You know, sometimes the... Um, your line loses your bag very rarely, but usually it does. If you have a tracker, you at least be able to track your bag. Okay? 
Um, oh, I forgot another needful thing that will go with my electronic bag. I almost forgot those is chargers. Boop. To recharge, these are already plugged up and charged up. As I, I will double check it, but I am going to charge these up. Make sure these are charged to the max and put them in my electronic bag. Um, and I'm gonna take a spare phone. You just never know. You never know. If I lose this one, I wanna be able to say, I got one though. Okay. All right, you all have a good one and you all, I'll see you on the next video where I am leaving for the airport. Bye.